Welcome to my channel Main Street Orlando. My name is Josie and today we're going to Disney's Magic Kingdom in search of some new Disney merchandise. Now I decided to come to the Grand Floridian first to just kind of relax before going into Magic Kingdom. It is a very hot day and I love the Grand Floridian. I might come afterwards to get some food. I do enjoy eating here and um, today's the vlog is going to be a little bit different so I hope you guys enjoy. Let's go. Let's go into Mickey's Town Square Theater to see if I can find the merchandise that I'm looking for. Sometimes there's good things hidden in here. Oh my gosh, this is a surprise. This is beautiful. I stumbled upon this aerial figurine. She's holding a dingle hopper and she is absolutely beautiful and it even has glitter. Let's see who is the artist. It is Steve Thompson. It is a light up figurine. Ooh, it's called Ariel the Little Mermaid. $179. She is precious. I have never seen this hat before. It's a small world boat tours. Enjoy the happiest cruise that ever sailed. So cute and it is $30. And a Muppets animal hat. Oh my gosh, he's embroidered on there. So cute and he is at $30 as well. Finally came across the Nala and Simba ears for the Lion King collection, the new one that I showed you at Disney's um, Animal Kingdom. I'll link it down below if you haven't watched that video. I really like the collection and the colors. It features Nala and um, Simba as cubs. I love that they put them on the bow. This really gives me lots of nostalgia. I don't know why I'm getting tongue twisted today. Anyhow, I love the fabric material. We have some embroidery on the ears, a beautiful design on both sides. And this one here is $35. But I don't find what we're looking for, so we're gonna have to keep looking. The Emporium is probably our best bet. Bingo, I found it. So for the new Disney 100 collection, the Wonderful World of Color. Well, Disney's Wonderful World of Color is featured in this collection. Walt Disney's Wonderful World of Color is part of the television anthology series for Disney. This is the second name after the original name of the television series created by Walt Disney himself, himself which was Walt Disney's Disneyland. Walt Disney's Disneyland. And it was in partner with ABC created to make funds for Disneyland itself. But after partnering with NBC, it was brought to you in living color on NBC. They changed the name to Wonderful World of Color to feature it in color. Now it is a series of just kind of uh, original programming and it was centered around the lands in Disneyland like Adventureland, Frontierland, etc. And yeah, they also had cartoons on there. Wonderful, wonderful. And Wonderful World of Color, which later had a third name, which was um, Wonderful World of Disney after Walt Disney died. This sweatshirt here is $60 and it has lots of embroidery on there and polka dots, very cute. I don't think the back has, oh, the polka dots continue on to the back. I like that. And over here we have this button down shirt here featuring the castle. Let's see, is at $60. It's those kind of like busy prints, the wonderful world of Disney. I like that. And for $35, they have this shirt here in kind of like a plum color with Tinker Bell. Now over here on the sticker, it seems like this is a men's fit, so it's probably pretty large. They have the little one here for little girls. 
This one also embroidered on there with tank. And this one here is $32. And to match the sweatshirt, we have these shorts here, lounge shorts, very soft, with the polka dots as well, Tinkerbell, and then color. Oh, all of this is embroidered, nice. I like the um, design here. And this one is $40, and I'm guessing the polka dots continue on to the back. And what is a Disney collection without Disney Crocs? And this one has the castle right in the background. We have actually Sleeping Beauty Castle, not Cinderella, because this is uh, Disneyland, pretty much. And we have a gibbet there that says The Wonderful World of Disney, and another gibbet with Miss Tinkerbell. I don't think I mentioned, it is $65. And we have been keeping a close eye on all of the new Munchlings merchandise, and look what we have stumbled upon, the ears. They are $35, and they are the Cupcake Minnie Mouse ears, and I'll show you Cupcake Minnie Mouse in a sec, in case you forgot what she looks like. Cupcake Minnie Mouse. And it features the satin polka dot bow in the center, nice and puffy. I love that shape. A strawberry right in the middle. Frosting at the top in pink. The little sprinkles embroidered on the ears. This is so pretty. This is what they look like on. They are so cute. They're very tall. So very thematic to munchlings and also very kawaii. That's the word that comes to my head. They have Munchlings chocolate and I am a big sucker for chocolate. I love anything chocolate except for like chocolate ice cream or like chocolate cake. Like I actually like chocolate, like the chocolate bar, the chocolate candy. So they have the honey cake, white chocolate cinnamon and honeycomb with Winnie the Pooh over here. Chip and Dale, double trouble, dark chocolate ganache truffle. This one's naturally flavored. So I like that. And over here, chilling like a villain. This was actually oogie boogie winter mint gelato milk chocolate mint latte this here is five dollars and fifty cents so we're gonna try them later on okay and they have a new keychain set now i have shown you the chip and dale one the mickey and minnie mouse and also blueberry um eeyore and winnie the pooh now i have come across the Pluto and this is the Donald Duck. I believe he's a cake pop and this is like a peanut butter chocolate candy. I forgot what it is, but this is $17. They are so adorable. Okay, I had to look it up or else it would drive me nuts. So we have the peanut butter chocolate swirl cup, which is Pluto. And then yes, he is a cake pop, Donald Duck. More ears. Now this is a black and gold design and it has like a metallic gold to it. And it looks like it features all four parks. You see Cinderella Castle, Spaceship Earth, over here, the Tree of Life, and over there, the Hollywood Tower of terror and yeah it kind of reminds me of the grand finale merchandise for the 50th anniversary doesn't it and then I guess the bow in the center the sequin one is removable and it's kind of like a faux leather material, uh, fake leather, and this is $35. Making my way into Frontierland, I decided I am way too hungry to wait until I go back to Grand Floridian, so let's go to Picosville. So I got the chicken and rice bowl. It comes with the seasoned chicken. We have some peppers, the black beans, which I love black beans. I've told you before, the rice in the bottom. And then we have some like lettuce and tomato. And the weird thing is they give you this chunky Tostito salsa. Um, we have the sour cream. Now it's not the best rice and chicken, but I mean, it's, it's I like it, but it's not the best. I came to Storybook Circus, which is where you'll find the Dumble Ride, etc., in search of a special lounge fly and other items. So hopefully I'll find it here at Big Top Souvenirs. Yes, 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 it's here. This has to be my most favorite Disney Parks lounge fly yet. I am obsessed. This is my favorite I've seen so far, really. In my time being here on YouTube, my favorite. It is a lenticular design of Cinderella from her pink dress, all ripped up, the dress that the mice made for her. But 
Her stepsisters ripped it all up. Oh, 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 God, please, oh, 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 and then we have Cinderella here in her blue fairy godmother dress. Even her hair changes. You see that? <laughs> So magical, and we have Fairy Godmother, we have Bruno, we have her friends, we have Jack and Gus Gus, a little pumpkin there, and up here a little carriage design, two side pockets with some magic on it. And it says Disney Lounge Flight plaque on there, and then when you turn it around, look at this, it doesn't end here. We have the Cinderella carriage, beautiful design with the Cinderella silhouette castle in the background. It is $88, and it is part of the Disney deck Kate's collection for 1950s. The inside design features the mice with pumpkin. And I said this is my favorite Disney Parks lounge fly, but the plaque says Disney lounge fly, but it's still exclusive to the parks. Also part of the collection are these 20,000 leagues under the sea ears. And they look so cool. The ears are portholes. And then I'll show you what this one does in a sec. But we have the squid on here. It is kind of like a debossed or embossed design on here so yes this window here specifically opens so you turn this here and then you open it up isn't that fun you have to be careful when shopping for these because i noticed some of them are missing the little piece that holds it together right there this here says 20,000 leagues under the sea splash onto screens in 1954 and it's based on the book by jules verne and the big budget film was a cinematic feat for walt disney he used the newly developed cinema scope process to bring this live action epic to life he also had an enormous water tank constructed for the high stakes squid battle and it is $40 this is what they look like on and right here is a little window that opens look these are really nice and also for the collection we have a pin with goofy and Humphrey bear it is for the short hold that pose 1950 where goofy is an amateur photographer he's trying to take pictures of uh, Humphrey Bear. So look at this. Isn't that cute? My goodness. And then wait, hold on. You can actually, it's like a flipped uh, pin kind of situation. And look, you get another picture of him. That is so, so cute. As a photographer, I really like this one. And it says it's a limited release back there with a Disney 100 logo, and it is $35. And the last item for the collection is this plush of Shaggy the dog. The film is actually called The Shaggy Dog, and it's a black and white film released on March 19, 1959. And it follows the comedic adventures of a young boy named Wilby Daniels. And it says thanks to a magic ring and an ancient spell, he's transformed into a sheepdog. No, no. So I'm guessing this is the dog, and as a dog, Wilby finds out his neighbor is a spy, and his mission becomes to help apprehend the infiltrator. This is the plush. He is $35, and he's wearing a fedora. And yeah, and then this here, I saw embroidered an S. He really does look like a little cute sheep dog. Very cute. And much of these items you can purchase online on shopdizzy.com. So all the merch items that are available on shopdizzy.com, I will link down below in the description box so you guys can shop as well. And shopping through those affiliate links, which I do earn a small commission, really help the channel. And so now I'm headed over to the Emporium, back at the Emporium, because I wanna buy those chocolate bars and try them with you guys. Oh look. There's Humphrey the bear. All right, let's go ahead and check out. Okay, so first one that we're gonna try is the one that I least think I'm gonna like, which is the Winnie the Pooh one, the white chocolate cinnamon and honeycomb. I'm not a honey fan, but we will see. And a white chocolate fan. Ooh, it does have some like milk chocolate, it seems, in the center, or is it cinnamon? The cinnamon is very faint and the honey taste is very faint don't expect a whole lot of cinnamon and honey just the white chocolate now let's try this one which is the oogie boogie one milk chocolate mint latte it's called the winter mint gelato 
Let's see, this one is milk chocolate. Okay, the center is like kind of like light. Hmm, mint. It does remind me of a mint gelato. I don't know why it says mint latte, but it's called winter mint gelato. It does taste like a mint gelato. I like it. Now the one that I have the most expectations for is the Chippendale one, which is dark chocolate ganache truffle. I love dark chocolate. Let's see here. If we get that bitter taste of the dark chocolate. And the inside kind of is nice and dark. It does have that ganache filling. It's not super bitter, but it's bitter enough to tell you it's um, dark chocolate. Now obviously, these don't taste like high quality chocolate, but they're good chocolate. They're tasty. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Don't forget about those Shop Disney links down in the description box. Subscribe for more Disney World merchandise, tours, updates, and fun. Also hit the like button if you liked the video. Questions or comments, leave them down below. And if you want to see the video prior to this one, where I go to Epcot's creation shop and tour all the latest merchandise, right up here. Or if you want to see me go to Disney's Animal Kingdom and tour the latest merchandise over at Animal Kingdom, right down here. And I cannot wait to see you guys again again very soon. Bye!